So they're replacing bridge, but we got a major beaver problem here. Hopefully they don't bring the machine in, which is back there, to open this up because I want to set some traps. So we'll take a walk back there. We've got another old dam here. But actually there's a series of dams through there. That does not look active. But we'll definitely focus focus on this one. All right, so this is definitely a new dam and it's not going to take much to open this up. It goes all the way across. And we'll get this flowing. It looks like there's another dam farther down, but we'll just concentrate on this one for now. And this will protect the road and that bridge. I'm just going to get to the other side here. It's going to be deep. Just walking on this dam is going to basically break it. So one advantage of us coming in here and doing this by hand, it saves uh, a big excavator coming in because they'll just plow through the trees. They're going to open this up regardless because it is going to erode around the bridge and the road. So this is, uh, this is good because we can kind of control it. They would just come in and open up the whole thing. We'll just open up little sections and uh, just maintain, keep control of the area. So that's the main dam. There's a feed pile right there. But this creek would have been flowing just through here. Uh, this is all, this growth here is from an old dam. And so obviously they've just built it up higher and now they've had to add on all this fresh mud just because the dams wasn't high enough the original dam wasn't high enough so they've got to build it up okay there's their lodge right in there bank lodge they'll just excavate under the roots of that tree they'll probably build that up uh, make it even bigger and they've got their feed pile right here Nice easy access for them. And there is a, a crossover right in the middle here. And there's, there's their newest part of the dam. So they would have plugged up this creek that was flowing through here with all that. And now they're just trying to build the dam higher. My guess, oh, there's a beaver right there. I was gonna say, I bet you the beaver comes out because the water's dropping so much. Sure enough, there he is. He's been coming out of the water. And crossing over. Mm -hmm. He goes. Let's see where he crossed over. He's gonna come back. Came out of the water, right there. It's a perfect spot for a trap. Right in between these two trees. Or down at the bottom. Might put a trap down there. 
and a trap here right now. This is gonna come back. We're gonna get them today. I've got a rusty trap I'm gonna throw there. I've got a couple brand new ones here that haven't even had time to to uh, rust up and die, so I'm gonna put one in anyways. Okay, we're gonna put one in right around here. I'm just gonna have to fence it off. This is a 280, so it's a little bit smaller, but that beaver was not too big. It's an adult, but it's not a monster by any means, so the 280 should be just fine. Might go around that, but we're gonna have to fence it off pretty good. It's not great to use green trees <coughs> to secure, but try and find some dead ones now and fence that off. Okay, there we go. We fenced the sides of it, both sides. So it doesn't go around. Fenced off even back here so that it doesn't decide to go up over this part. Gonna maybe turn the trap upside down so the trigger's on the bottom, but I've done it both ways. Let's go. Okay, there's our trap in between the trees. Kind of fenced off on the sides. Hopefully it doesn't swim around, goes right in between those two trees. That's the lodge right in there, the base of that tree. And now we just wait and see if it comes back.